you're probably not watching this on a Monday, but it is currently Monday and lost my train of thought. Oh, um, my estrogen is on the rise, so I should have lots of energy today, but I'm finding it hard to focus, which is a common problem with me. You know, sometimes focus just like hits you randomly and then you get like the, you know, or like sometimes when you're like all of a sudden get the urge to clean out your closet or something and that happens like a occasionally in your life. That's how I feel about my focus. But I really need to like plan out my life work-wise. So I think I might go to a coffee shop today and like see if that helps me focus, although it doesn't usually. But also I thought it would be a good TikTok vlog to do for the day. <laughs> so still currently on my Daisy Jones and the Six hyperfixation. And every single morning I wake up and check Instagram to see if they've posted anything. Because rumor is they might be doing, oh my God, sorry. Rumor is they might be doing like a mini tour or doing SNL. So, oh my God, Instagram's so annoying, sorry. So yeah, I wake up every morning with this like anxiety, like, oh my God, did somebody say anything today? Did I tell you about Ted's tale while we're here? Um, one day, oh, it looks really good. One day I was like in the kitchen making dinner or something and Ted popped up on the counter and his tail looked weird. You know how cat's tails are usually sticking straight up? His was just like dangling down and I was like, oh, something's wrong. So I checked his tail and there was a big cut in it that was like down to the bone or the tendon or whatever the frick is their tail is made out of or the muscle or something, I don't really know. But it was like deep and nasty. I almost passed out because it was so gross. And so my sister had like was trying to get him to, into the vet and the vets were like, okay, we can get him in in three weeks. We were like, literally his tail is, you can see the bone and you're gonna make us wait three weeks. And then he started acting really sick. So then she called the vet again and then they were like, okay, we can get him in on Monday. And it, so anyways, he's been going to the vet every Friday for a month to get his tail checked now. And he's been on antibiotics, but it's finally like healing well. But at first the vet was like, if it doesn't start healing, then he might have to get his part of his tail amputated. But he's doing okay now. <laughs> Little Ted up, Ted update. Okay guys, I'm gonna go work at Black Rock Coffee. This is the outfit. I thought that I was supposed to be like in a good mood today, <laughs> but it is really Monday. Like, I don't know, sometimes I just get in the mood, in these moods as a content creator where I just feel like everything I'm doing is stupid and sucks. And that doesn't usually happen, that usually happens like the week before I start my period not the week after, so I'm a little um, annoyed at that, but maybe going to a coffee shop will help. Let's hope. <laughs> this feels so dumb. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to bring, let me straighten you out a little bit, because this tripod sucks. All right, so the only thing we're bringing is my headphones, do not talk to me, and my laptop. And we're going to try to plan out this month as much as we can. Also, let me know in the comments if there's any like videos that you want me to do or like anything you want me to do in a vlog. Maybe I will consider some of your suggestions. Okay. to show you guys my, I'm worried that this isn't in focus. 
lot of focus on see like it's not all right we're back in business oh yeah so i planned out my youtube schedule for the this month and i'm really excited it's gonna be fun i'm like i used to be really overwhelmed by youtube and now i love it it's like my favorite so i'm back baby but after the coffee shop i went into aldi because it's right across the street and i've never been to aldi before and let me tell you it is like a different country in there like you have to pay to use use the shopping cart you have to pay a quarter which i don't carry change or cash for that matter so i didn't use a cart um they don't give you bags which is fine but like still kind of weird for arizona because you get grocery bags everywhere else but i got a couple of things that i feel like i can't find at other grocery stores one is they have these chicken patties that are apparently supposed to taste well it's a breaded chicken frozen breaded chicken apparently it's supposed to taste just like chick-fil-a and i'm heating one up right now so i'll tell you and the other thing i got this um cranberry walnut chicken salad which i love so much it's my favorite like chicken cha chicken salad sandwiches are delicious and then just like putting it on spinach and stuff with some dressing it's so good and i just tasted it it's really good i'll show you it's like this focus on this this stuff it's so good i love it oh my sister's home morning this is not the best um place to be filming this content but i like to sit here in the mornings because that's where all the sunlight is but like obviously having the sunlight behind me isn't the best today i need to get groceries i need to take willow to the p-a-r-k i had a podcast episode come out today so i'm like posting um promos and stuff on the podcast instagram if you don't know it's called so glad we're friends and it's everywhere where you can get podcasts listen to podcasts i just feel like this lighting is so horrible and i also have um concept due for a campaign that i'm working on with this brand so like when i get paid partnerships a brand pays me to share about their product or service on my accounts and usually the first step is sending in my concept for them to approve my concept before i create any of the content so the concept is due today so i just have to like send my manager what my idea is basically but i want it to be good and i always overthink these things today i should probably okay i'm gonna take willow to the park and then when i come back i'm gonna go sit in my office and be productive oh that sounds so horrible here is my outfit for the day got these little flared leggings from airy quilted jacket from free people i need to put on a beanie Hey guys, part of my monthly reset, it's very important to me that I reset my little calendar that I look at. I am the type of person that if I don't see it, I don't know it. <laughs> like if it's not in my face every single day, I'm going to forget about it. So that's why I have to write everything down all the time and I ha like having a calendar that's like sitting right next to my desk. So I'm going to update that with like 
I put my when I'm recording my podcasts and any meetings and and parties and what have you so we're gonna do that really quick right now this guy right here You know what would be a great thing to do to reset your month is like to clean things. I was just thinking it'd be like I wanted to do I want to do a spring re clean or a spring cleaning situation, but like I like to I like everything to have a spot. I like everything to be clean, but then like when it comes to the actual cleaning, especially when it's like organizing closets and stuff, I just get so overwhelmed by it that I just avoid it. April, right? April showers bring me flowers. Starting strong with tomorrow. Wait, what? I thought I had something tomorrow. Why isn't this? I definitely know that I have. Wait, no. First we need to number the days. <laughs> usually always want to set goals for the month and I haven't like mapped those out yet the litter box is rotating and that's what that noise is and it's gonna take like a whole like two minutes to finish and I need to share with you guys the new brand it is so cute so yeah that'll be tomorrow and then tonight I am making dinner with my sister and we're watching Daisy Jones and the Six. So I'm watching it again with her and it is like, it's so fun watching it with someone who hasn't watched it yet. And we have like three episodes left and the last three episodes are so good. <laughs> so I'm really excited. So I'm gonna get off for tonight and I'll see you guys in the morning. April <laughs> is to get a newsletter started and like kind of start building out external things separate from social media um, so I'm trying to when you start a newsletter um, what most people do is like when people first subscribe you get like a welcome email that's like, I'm so glad you're here. This is what you can expect from the newsletter type thing. So my goal this week is to write that. I've kind of broken everything out into steps so that hopefully by the end of this month, I'll actually be able to launch the newsletter. But this week I just want to get the intro subscription newsletter written because I finally have my brand done and I'm gonna show it to you guys um, before this vlog ends. I just don't feel like doing it at the moment. And then my other main priority for this month in terms of goals is to go see my doctor. I have not been to like my primary care doctor since I think 2018 maybe. Like it's just crazy how fast time goes because you know, you kind of keep putting something off until next month or next year. And then all of a sudden it's been four years since I've gone. Um, I've been to other doctors because I had a stroke in 2019 and I had to go see like a bunch of other doctors and then 2020 happened, the pandemic, and then I just like, nobody was going to any doctors unless they had COVID. And then 2021, honestly, pandemic, same thing. I just kept putting it off. 2022, I didn't have health insurance. So I'm currently paying 380 a month for health insurance and I'm sure as hell going to be using that health insurance. So I'm going to the doctor to for a physical, like a checkup. Um, and I have a couple of concerns, so I'll see if that leads to seeing um, like specialists or whatever. I'll update you guys after I get back from my doctor, but 
going to the doctor is like so scary and it's not necessarily because they're checking on my health it's because I have social anxiety and I'm going to a place that I'm unfamiliar with and going to be talking to strangers basically I think that's why doctors scare me because they're usually they make you feel comfortable and like but I'm going to a doctor that I've never been to before I have no idea what to expect of her will she be nice like I just don't I'm scared <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. And then I'm probably gonna have to get my blood drawn, which is good. I want my blood drawn. I want all of my labs run, but also like that's scary too. So I have to like, this is what real self care is. Doing the things that you don't wanna do in the moment because they're scary or hard or just like a pain in the butt, but it's actually looking out for your future self and going to make you better in the long run. So I'm back from my doctor's appointment. Did I show you guys my doctor's appointment fit? Here's the hair. And then I just wore black. I didn't know if they were gonna make me like take off my shirt or something. <laughs> so I had to wear something where I would wear a bra with it. Um, and I took a little nap because even the smallest amount of socialization just takes it out of me. But honestly, I don't know if that's true. I think maybe I'm just like unmotivated or lazy. So when I get back from something, I'm like, oh, I'm so drained from talking to someone for 30 minutes. But it's maybe just that I don't want to do anything except for rot my brain out by scrolling on TikTok. Anyways, I just made a chai tea latte. Let me show you, I should have filmed this while I was making it. Let me show you really quick how I make it. It's really good and super easy. You just get this Tazo classic chai tea. Um, I find this at Target, but I don't know if they have this at Safeway, which is my grocery store. I'm not sure, but Target or like, you know, Amazon or something. And then oat milk. And I do a little bit, like maybe 40% full of the tea and then the rest 60% oat milk. But you can base it on how strong you want it yourself. And then sometimes when I'm feeling spicy, I'll add some cinnamon on top of it. But the cinnamon, honestly, I don't really know that it gives much to the drink. I feel like it just makes the glass harder to clean, so. Ooh, if you wanna be extra, you could also make like a cold foam for the top which would be delicious. I should have done that maybe tomorrow. The piece of content that I keep putting off is the matching dresses. I don't know why, I just, I think in my head, I don't think it's gonna turn out as good as I want it to. And I feel like I'm gonna be disappointed with whatever outcome I get from these dresses. I don't know why I build things with props up so much, but I do. Like, I spent money on these things and I want the content to be good. <sighs> I've had three weeks off of recording my podcast. Three weeks, yeah. Well, actually, almost four weeks, I think, because tomorrow's Friday. And I just feel like I'm so sad because I think recording my podcast is my favorite part of the week because it's like the only time I don't work alone. Like being a content creator was my dream job, but it's lonely sometimes. And having a podcast with two other people is more fulfilling to me. So yeah, we took like three or four weeks off because the other two girls were traveling a lot and I wasn't doing anything. So I've just been like lonely. <laughs> But let's look at my brand, it's really cute. So, okay, so what you're looking at is the first page is the logo with all the different color variations. So Devin and Willow, and then these are my colors, which are so cute. Like I can't even pick, I really love the hot pink. I really love the lavender. I mean, I feel like it just like, my it matches, it matches me. It's so cute and I love the E in Devin. It's just so cute. Okay, moving on. Um, so like this, she did like my brand, purpose, vision, mission, which is really cool. These are my brand words. So like when you think of my brand, you feel joyful, cozy, relatable, inspired, colorful. That's like 
the vibe that I want to put off basically. Here's the main logo. So this is like the main colors basically. I feel, oh my God, I don't even know what I'm saying. I just keep saying basically. But yeah, this is the logo. And then she did some fun stuff with it. Like the, um, she did Devin Noring, which looks so cute. The more I look at it, the more I am obsessed with it. But how she did like this drop shadow on Devin and Willow and this little kind of geometric flower pattern. Love it. It's just getting better guys, just wait. These are like the little marks or like stamps or like, you know when you open up a browser on your computer and you see like a little next to the website name, like a little icon. This is kind of like what these would be used for. Um, so cute. I love the last one. And then she made a bunch of cute little marks, like illustrations. <laughs> they are so cute. Like I am obsessed. I love, I don't know, I'm just excited to like design stuff now with this. I used to be a graph, or I used to be a website designer and my favorite thing would be when I was handed a really cute brand to work with and design a website with that brand. And this just makes me so excited to make my own website now. I love the little willow icon. The cactus is perfect. Like the little, uh, what kind of plant is that? Like a ZZ plant or something like that? I don't know, it's so cute, I love it. Your introvert bestie, it's just, here's some more illustrations. The disco ball, the microphone for podcast, the books, it's just perfect. It's, and she gave me all of these illustrations in all of my brand colors. And then I'm so excited about these like little geometric shapes. They're just, oh, it's perfect. When you think of me, I hope you think of this. And then the cutest part, the little badges. I am so obsessed. I love the color. Like, it's just like, it makes, I want to like print these out and put it on my denim jacket. Like, maybe I should do that. Can I make merch? Like, they're just so cute and they're perfect. Your introvert bestie, stay home, romanticize your alone time, homebody, dog mom, my podcast, so glad we're friends. Like, they're just literally perfection and I am just so happy. And then the patterns are perfect too. I mean, I've got like the little checkered thing back there. Like, ah, she just did such a good job and I am obsessed with how the heck everything turned out. I love it. But yeah, my branding was done. I found someone on Instagram and she had like the cutest colorful graphics and stuff on her Instagram grid. And I was like, I knew that I wanted to work with her. Um, her name is Emma McGoldrick and she has her own freelance, well, her own creative studio. It's called ESM Creative Studio and she just does such good branding. And I want her to do, redo the branding for our podcast hopefully this year, like by the end of this year, but we'll see. She just, so good, very excited. Hey guys, it's Friday. I'm supposed to focus on my eye camera. It's Friday and I am editing the YouTube video that I'm filming right now, hoping to be able to post it tomorrow. But I finally thought about some of my goals for the month because every month I like to set some goals, whether they're like to get out of my comfort zone or to redo something in my house or to buy something that I've been saving up for. Just like things that I put off or things that I need to work on. So let me share my goals since this is a reset video. First goal is do something new alone. So I've been challenging myself to do things alone and I want to do something that I haven't done yet. So um, the next one is to go to a yoga class because I want to get into going to workout classes but they're scary obviously and yoga is the easiest class. So I wanna force myself to do that this month. Now, number three and four are to find a therapist and to find happiness. So one of my goals was like to go to the doctor and I finally did that at the start of this month. But like, 
I think I'm realizing, and I am just watching the beginning of this video that I started at the beginning of this week as I'm editing, and I think I might be getting depressed. And I don't think I've ever been depressed before. I have always had anxiety, but I've never felt the way that I feel right now. Like, just unmotivated, nothing that I'm, like, excited to be, like, striving towards. I feel like I don't have enough in my life that I want. I want more friends, and I want more travels, and I want more excitement, and I just want to live life, and it feels like every day I'm just doing the same thing over and over again in my house. And as much of an introvert as I am, I also want more than that. And it's scary, and it's hard, and I just think, like, it's... I actually just saw a TikTok this morning where... Um, Someone was saying like when life, when it's time for a big life change, life forces you to change it and it's hard. And I feel like that's what's coming for me. And yesterday I was texting my best friends that I have a podcast with and I told them that I think I'm depressed. And just like letting that out, I just started crying. Like I sat on the floor in the kitchen and I just started crying. And the thing about me is I don't normally cry. <laughs> Like, I usually, when I'm scared or sad or whatever, I, I try to avoid it, and I feel it in my chest, and I want so badly to be able to cry and release it, but I never can, unless I, like, I'll call my mom, and she'll help, like, help me cry, because, you know, calling your mom, they always know something's wrong, and then you immediately start crying. But I don't usually ever cry about my own life. I cry about TV shows and book characters, and... I just, I, f I, I think it's hard to like, because depression seems so big and heavy and scary. And like, I don't feel like I'm at that point yet, but like, I've never felt like this before. I don't think, I mean, I'm crying right now and I don't even know why. So anyways, my last two things are to find a therapist and to find happiness. So yeah. Anyways, I feel depressed, <clears throat> and I used to, like, love my nighttime routines and my morning routines, and now, like, just thinking about it getting dark out, and, like, me sitting on the couch and watching TV, it just makes me feel so sad. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't know. So, anyways. <laughs> it is coming up on Friday night. Um, I don't know if I'm going to hang out with my family tonight or not. I think I'm going to be seeing them on Saturday and Sunday. It's Easter on Sunday. Um, so what I've yesterday and today since crying, I've been trying to find the joy again in spending time alone because at the moment I am alone while I want to work towards finding people that live here where I live to connect with basically because I do have so many friends that just aren't in this city and state um so yeah I want to still be able to like find that joy again of hanging out with myself and with Willow and going to the park and watching tv like reading books nothing is just making me happy these days so I'm trying to find that happiness and like, being able to edit my content, that's, like, the only good thing I have in my life, like, right now that I feel like. That sounds so depressing. Like, I do love my job, and I'm so grateful for everybody that supports me and loves Willow. Ted's here. <laughs> and I just want to say that I'm so thankful for you guys, and I will continue to keep vlogging and creating content, and I'll keep you guys updated on my mental health, I guess. And I'm going to add this to the project, finish editing this video, and schedule it to go up on Saturday morning. So don't forget to subscribe. Listen to my podcast, So Glad We're Friends. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I will see you guys soon.